So, here are the casing as well as the rupture. As you can see, and you can also notice that this is not a uh, copper reinforced kind of casing. This is just uh, paper and glue kind of casing. Now, this was made as a uh, experimental casing since copper wire is much more expensive than just plain paper. So, it so that's why this was made to test out if this have enough strength as this. Well, seem like not. So the solution for this is to make copper wire reinforced kind of casing. Now I have one that would be able to use for this, but unfortunately, it is very weakened around here. So it was worn down, specifically here. I'm not so sure why here specifically, but this is not usable anymore. If I use it, it will just um, go through the, ca the crack and just leak out. Now, after seeing how much pressure uh, the jar can make, I'll probably just gonna opt this. This one is the nut end. So uh, this one is uh, 0.1 millimeter, and this is 0 0.2. I'll probably making it as 0.4. So just to make sure, even if it even if it is overkill, it doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't break, that's good enough. So my theory was that I was using a large amount of fast burning powder as a booster and that probably what causes because it's near the base and there's a large amount here so it basically just crack here first and then move outwards And that's why the base was stuck in the bowl. I'm not sure why it didn't extract it out, but that's not a problem. Here's all the bullet. The pressure was great enough that the last call was punched out and it caused a lot of damage in the suppressor and that is probably why the, the suppressor was shifted here is the baffle this is how they are ordered like this so the first one sustained minor damage the second one, moderate damage. You can see where it's right here. Right here. And the third one sustained major damage. Now, all three of these need to be replaced anyway. Because they are old as hell. And here's what happened to the thread. It's not exactly that the thread uh, broke. But like you can see in here, there's a crumble zone. And look around at the thread. They look just fine. Like no damage actually happened. So what happened was 
The surface that the thread would glue on the paper was weak. So he got shredded and moved. Hitting it with this uh, paper here, which is what glues in, and it crumbled. Now this is an easy fix, just screw it on to the barrel again and just tap it into it into back back into position and just glue it back in. This is inside it. Here's the basket chamber. Now as you can obviously see on a slow mo when the boat hit the wall, it didn't stay there for too long. Just hit it and move back. Now that is uh, in a bit of a combination of having a buffer spring like this, and it having a pad. Now this pad is made out of eraser. Yeah, your ordinary eraser. Yeah. You know why I use it. They're flexible. They are malleable. I mean, not not malleable. They're like um. They're like rubber, but cheap. So in combination of dough, it was able to just hit it and return right away. Be able to do that is important because. If you be able to do that, your fire rate increase. Now it doesn't matter on its on its uh, situation because there's only one shell. But it's still nice to have it, just to reduce the damage on the on the frame. Now the buffer swing is just there to buffer it. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't have enough power to fully compress the buffer swing, it still be able to chamber another round. I just stand there, it's enough clearance to chamber another round. Now to compress it, it should go a little bit extra and that really doesn't matter, it's just buffering. Now, you will be seeing the bubble string making it a return. On that. Now, the piston quick fix was actually be able to make it better because this now moves smoother in the receiver. And I'm honestly surprised that that, that worked better than my uh, original method. Oh hey, thanks for staying for this long. I will just clean up some stuff. Now, um, there's a few things that... There's a few things that uh, I want to... to just say. For anyone that stay for this long, thank you. And I'll let you in a little bit. For what next on the future? The pistol will be next. And you can see there's an obvious upgrade here. And there's something happened to here that will require a buffer string. Go and check the community now. You will see uh, a picture of my workspace and with it a slide in it. A piece of slide. You will see what happens. Alright, see ya.